Hey, hey, good morning. Happy Monday morning to you. Start of a new week. Hope um, hope all is well. Hope you had a great weekend. Welcome back to Obears Galantal. I am Farmer Min. Uh, to get you caught up, if you haven't uh, seen that yet, uh, I did a live stream Saturday night and did some logging over here on this new section of land where I want to um, put in a, a pigsty and a sheep pen. So that's what I have done. I did lease a Komatsu, so I did do a bunch of logging, and I think I got everything taken care of. Oh, crap, I got a stump. Um, I thought I had all the stumps grind up, but there's one there. I knew I was going to miss one, and I didn't want to uh, return it back to the store just quite yet in case for this uh, one simple reason. Um, so I think I have everything set up to go as far as um, land cleared. I have to do some terraforming now uh, to get the um, land ready to go for the uh, placeables. Uh, I'll just get this tree, this stump on the way here. There we go. Uh, we do have $140,000 in the bank. Um, that all came from, of course, the um, the logging that we did. Let's just drive through here, make sure I got all the stumps out of here. Um, sometimes in the bushes here, I just can't quite tell. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these logs in. I'm going to sell them. I'm going to see what I end up with. So I'm assuming the terraforming is going to cost me a, uh, a pretty penny to kind of level out this area here and have enough room for the two buildings. The uh, sheep pen has a <laughs> has a pretty darn good price on there, I tell you. Uh, I kind of feel bad using it, but, it, you know, I didn't, I didn't do anything to it. Um, and the pigsty is going to cost... Um, what does the pig side cost? 95000 or something like that, I think. So we do have that. So I'm hoping with the uh, logs that we still have down here that I can um, make some good money so we can uh, pay for the buildings and then pay off some of that loan for um, that we borrowed to buy this land in the first place. The horse stables, that looks pretty good. That is all done. Now all we got to do is get some horses up here on the uh, in the farm. Yeah, that it will be absolutely outstanding. The, uh, we do have a couple fields ready. These two here are actually ready to go. The canola field and the uh, soybean field. The other ones are still growing. So we could start um, some harvesting on that. But I'm kind of thinking maybe um, maybe we'll just hold off till everything's ready. Um, my good friend Steve did, at, did ask me if I could use the roller to, uh, to uh, bring this back. And I tried it. And it got rid of the grass on the highway. But it wouldn't take care of the painting, so we'll just kind of have to leave it um, the way it is. And thanks to him. Uh, very much appreciative, Steve. And also to um, Terraformer, thank you for all the wonderful information, man. I sincerely appreciate that. But, um, oh crap, I went the wrong way. I uh, will go down this way. But I'm going to sell all these logs, and we're going to see what we end up with. I think we should have some good, good chunk of change in the uh, bank. Um... Goal number one is to um, pay off. Whoa! Oh! Ooh, well, I got lucky there. Um, goal number one is to pay off the uh, the debt. That is what I am aiming for. So we'll have to go with that, and then of course get the combine fired up, get some uh, harvesting on the way. But boy, I want to get that tractor. I want to get that tractor. Um, could use some more money. Could use some more money. But we'll sell all these logs. Let's take this one in and see what this one's going to sell for. Um, I would expect that the the loads to follow would be roughly the same. I'm expecting maybe two, three more loads, maybe, is what I have there. So we can kind of figure out if this one's going to be and then times it by, well, at least two more, um, I would expect. Let's see. What are we going to get? Look at that. 33,000. 33, That's not too bad. So we're up to 174. So if we had another, um, whoops, there's one still there. Ah, you can come back with us. Um, so, if we had two more, another 66,000. So, we should be, oh, roughly 250, two, no, uh, 230 ish. 230-ish. Doesn't sound that bad. Um, put in the buildings and do the terraforming, and maybe we could even pay off $100,000 on the loans. So, that'd be pretty good. But I'm going to get the rest of them sold. We'll see what we end up with, and then we'll get back here. Um, you know what? I'll probably just go ahead and do the terraforming and put the buildings in. And then uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like afterwards. I think it should look pretty good. I, I'm kind of excited for it. And then we get some more animals on the farm here. And then um, 
back up to uh, the daily grind of working on Obras. But anyways, thanks for stopping in today. Thanks for joining us. I sincerely appreciate that. Uh, and we'll see you here in uh, just a little bit. Alrighty then. Here is where we sit. 9.40 in the morning. We have 77,240 left in the bank. We ended up with, I did a couple more loads to get some trees from the outlying area. So we ended up with about 280,000. So, yeah, I spent about 200, 200 and, um, oh, three thousand dollars on this farm, believe it or not. Sadly enough, it's, it's very expensive. The terraforming, uh, the landscaping is very expensive. Once again, I kind of screwed up the road here a little bit, but we'll have to live with it. I did do something differently. I did put in this, uh, paved painting throughout here, but we come in. Here's the road. Here's where I had all the equipment uh, parked. We did return the uh, leased item, so they are back at the uh, Kramers. So you come into the yard, we have, um, surprisingly enough, um, I tell you what, those construction people, they come in and out of here in a couple hours. Um, we did put in this shed here, which is kind of a nice looking shed. It fits in with the motif here. Um, this is actually a silo. So for the pigs, we're going to have um, a silo capability right here. Plus, we have a little shed, which adds a little character to it. So we open this door here, and we have a drive through silo right here, which is pretty kind of nice. Come out to the other side, and uh, we're good to go there. Over here, we do have storage here if we need to use it for something. We have a lot of storage here on this pig and sheep farm, but uh, that comes out to the other side here, kind of into the courtyard. So I'm kind of happy the way it turned out. We did some landscaping, did some decorating, um, but it's okay. It is all good to go. I think you open... Whoa, careful. Um, open up the trap door there. Yeah, that's kind of nice. So we do have that. Kind of drive through here, silo. The uh, sheep are over here into this courtyard area. Um, I believe this... You know, these open up here. Um, I believe this is where the wool will spawn right there. So that's kind of nice. Come on the back side, and I'll explain that in a second here. Come on to the back side across from the sheep. We have got our troughs here. Uh, there is our food trough, grass hay trough, and our water trough here. And then the sheep does have a barn. So I'm interested to see if um, the small door here I can't get open. Um, but we do have a big door here. We do have uh, storage in here for the sheep as well. And, of course, this door goes out into the sheep. So I don't know if the sheep use this. I'm kind of interested to buy some sheep and then see um, if they actually... I don't think they use this building, to be honest with you. I think they're kind of just out here in the open. Um, sadly enough. But um, the little courtyard here. I don't know if this gate opens. No, I thought maybe that would open. That's too bad. Um, I believe we buy the sheep right here. Yep, there's where we can get the sheep right there. So we do have that. Um, and then coming on the back side here, this is the pig area. We have the uh, pig manure and the pig slurry. And I believe this, yeah, that's the slurry. And I believe this is water, where we put it in the water. And then, of course, we do have a drive through here for the for the pigs. They're troughed here. Pretty snazzy, I tell you, right through here. Is this where you buy our, no, this must be straw here, I think. Um, come through here to the other side. So that's kind of the layout of the uh, she sheep and pig farm. I'm kind of excited about it, to be honest with you. I think it turned out really darn nice. Um, we did put in some spotlights to lighten up the farm here. We don't want no scoundrels in here, you know what I mean? Um, at night messing with our sheep. But um, so far, so good. I, I, I like it. We might add a few things here um, in the future. But here's what happened. Uh, a local contractor came in and said, we want to put in a cell tower on your uh, property and we'll pay you a little bit money each hour i said hey you go right ahead so they installed a uh, cellular tower right here so flashing lights and everything that is pretty darn fancy that is actually going to pay us um 500 bucks an hour i think um and actually i think it was only twenty thousand bucks to install i can't remember uh, but it was, wasn't that expensive at all. And, of course, um, the sheep farm <laughs> had a $1 price or $0 or the sheep bill in here. So um, that's kind of why we, did, we were able to do all this with um, with uh, $203,000. But um, we did put it in a little road here coming out to the backside, out to that little path. So maybe we can use that um, 
if we need to for this um, this facility here. But uh, what was that thing? Hey, there was a bird inside my building. Did you see that? I thought it was on my screen, but there was like a fly on my screen, but it was in there. Um, little fuel tank here. So I think we're all set to go for the pig and sheep farm. Man, I like it down here. I, I really do. Um, I like it a lot. I do. I do. So now the question is, whoa, door almost kicked me in the butt. Um, I, I don't mind this, uh, like the stamped concrete kind of thing. It's a little different. Uh, I think it adds a little flavor to the courtyard here. Um, let's see. I'm going to shut this door here. But now the question is, now we have cows, we have sheep, we have pigs, we have horses. So we have all the animals uh, set up here uh, on Oberes Glenthal. So the question is, do we just get a little bit of each? But we're gonna need some money because we gotta have um, we gotta have a water feed mixer, wagons. You know, we have all that stuff. So we do have a ways to go. Let's hop into the new Holland. So that is all done. Um, I have got my uh, my logging bug out of me. Um, there's the BGA right there, so we can just head back to the farm this way. Nice, easy little trek, I tell you. Nice, easy little trek. There is down at Kramer's, believe it or not, a little international tractor that I think would be... Wait, no. I'm going the wrong way. Um, I wanted to... What? Where is the turn? Um, I'm going the wrong way. Little international tractor that I'm thinking I might get for uh, the sheep and pig farm. That would be... Uh, we can use it down here for the sheep and pig farm and the uh, horses. I think that'll, that'll, that'll be just fine and dandy. Um, not too bad there. So anyways... I think for the rest of the day, we should probably get busy and um, fire up the combine, I guess, is what, what we can do. I got to double check. I think we need to go. I think we are um, pretty good on the fertilization, I think. Let's just, let's just look at that out. Um, the crops came up so fast that I totally forgot. Um, weed we can turn off. Um... Yeah, so we need to we need to fertilize. Um, well, crap, we can't do. What do we have ready? Uh, these two. So we better we better get busy fertilizing um, the corn. Um, what do we have on twenty? We had wheat on twenty. Yeah, we got we got to get busy three. The corn and this one. These two are ready. So we kind of we kind of messed up there because I don't think we can fertilize fully grown. Um, so we better get busy doing that before we do anything else. I completely forgot <clears throat> about that. You know, I was kind of surprised because I had, I had growth turned off, you know, and then I just turned it on overnight and boom, um, we, uh, we hit a tough stage. So let's see, do we have the narrows? No, we don't have the narrows on this one. Um, get back to the farm, get rid of the loader, put the narrows back on there. And then we do have to buy a sprayer because we do not own one. And get some fertilizer and um, do some fertilizing on the field. I think that's kind of a good plan. I think that is what we're going to have to do. Let's just um, drop the loader off in here. Oh. Okie dokie then. That's good there. Uh, chickens? I think the chickens should still be pretty good. Do we have any more eggs we get to the other side here? Might need a little bit of a cleaning. Uh, oh boy, look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five. Holy buckets. We got a lot of we got a lot of boxes of eggs. I was thinking about getting a container for the uh, chicken eggs to store out the store in a container. But I gotta talk to Kramers and see if they have any way of transporting. Maybe I'll just have one delivered. That would probably be the um, the logical uh, thing to do but uh, where am I going now I got to get down to um, well I got to change tires that's what I was doing and that's what I was doing with the program here put the narrows on here let's see might as well repair it while we're here 240 bucks holy buckets um, we got to go narrow there we go. Get the narrows back on here. And let's get down to Kramer's. We gotta buy a backpack sprayer. I was hoping to um, 
put fifty thousand dollars towards our loan uh but we we'll have to see about getting a backpack sprayer and see what we uh what that costs before we can um, put some money on the loan but uh Maybe it was a little crazy spending all the money on the uh, sheep and pigs and horses, but I tell you what, we're all set to go now. Now we got to do is just do some farming, and um, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Maybe I will get Nat to come out and fire up the combine and uh, start combining those two fields while I get out there and do some spraying. That might seem like a uh, logical choice to me, but I'll meet you down at Kramer's. We'll buy a backpack sprayer, uh, something inexpensive, and uh, we'll go from there. We have um, taken some contracts, believe it or not. Natalie has finished fertilizing 3 and 20, so she is all done with that. And then we took a fertilizing contract over on 17. That's a pretty big field just south of the uh, biogas plant. And I took three contracts doing some harvesting. I had to get the class out anyways to get it tuned up for our harvest and thought, hey, local farmer needs some help. So we took three of them, and I'll show them to you here in a second. Um, so this is the first one. I think this is field 12 here. Pretty big field, but uh, I got a good chunk of it done already. Um, so between the four contracts that we have going on right now, we should um, be sitting in... Well, we, we can add it up here. Let me get over here into the cloth. I left the beacon lights on for crying out loud. Hey, get out of my combine. What, what, do, you, what do you think you're doing here? Um, between... The contracts that we have, let's look, field 8, 12, and 11 are active. We are doing harvesting on them, field 12 here. So we got, you know, roughly, uh, let's see, 2, 33, 7, eh, 14, 15,000 dollars, because this is the one, 17, um, right here. Natalie is out uh, doing that one, field 12 is which I am on. So I got to harvest field 12, 11, 
And what was the other one? 12, 11, and 8, 12, and 11. So I'm at 12. Uh, then I have to go over here to 11 and 8. So these little three right by right by us. I can get that done. Here's Nat doing 17. So everything else is fertilized. We screwed up on this one. Can't do it. Um, but we're sitting okay. We are sitting okay. And I thought, hey, now's a good time to uh, get the combine up and running. And why not make a few extra bucks if we can? Um, so that is what I have. These, whoops, I started a little bit too early. That is what I have decided to do. But I think I think we're sitting pretty good at the moment. Um, not too bad. We got, like I said, we do have our canola. We do have our soybeans to um, harvest. But uh, I think, uh, I think you know what? Next time we come back might be, to, whoops, crap. Next time we come back might be tomorrow or maybe later today. We can start harvesting. I'm having all kinds of troubles here. Start harvesting them. That might not be a bad idea. We can certainly do that. And then we have um, the corn to do. The reason I'm doing some contract work, I figured that I'm going to need to lease a forage harvester to um, do our cornfield for silage that we're going to put into the BGA. So I needed a little extra money for that expense. We got that expense coming up here when that corn is ready to go. Um, other than that, you know, we only got the other... Um, Four fields to haul, to harvest, and that's not gonna that's not gonna take that much. That's not gonna take that much at all. But we have this field here. This is a fine and outstanding wheat field. I think we have a barley field and an oat field. No, a soybean and a oat field. I think that we have to um, get harvested for this contract work. But it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Hey, look at that cell tower off in the distance. Holy buckets! You can really see that thing uh, for quite a ways, can't you? That you certainly can. Um, it's kind of funny, you know, you think about it, you have all this money <laughs> that we did in the forestry, and then we spent it, uh, kind of building a farm, but, um, like I said, I am pretty, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out, and I think we're gonna have a lot, we're gonna have a lot of fun down there on that, uh, little, little, uh, pig and sheep farm, and like I said, we're all set for animals, horses I want to get, um, you know, maybe start off five, six horses, so they're 5,000 a piece, aren't they? Aren't horses five thousand a piece? I think. Um, this is double. Oh crap! Look at that. Uh, let's just um, chickens. Oh yeah. Oh god, we gotta go clean the chickens. Look at that. That's terrible. Um, well, they don't tell you. Yeah, you can't look on these menus anymore. Uh, I think they're five thousand, aren't they? Five thousand a piece? I think so. But um, we'll have to look into that. Some some pigs, some sheep. But we'll get things we'll get things ready to go because we do have some crop, um, some crops to uh, harvest, and then we'll have to make sure that we have everything we needed for the pigs. I do have all those sugar. I do have that half a load of sugar beets that I did store, so it's a good thing I have that. I got that for the pigs. So I don't have to worry about root crop. Um, what do we have? What do we have in storage? Matter of fact, um, we got eight thousand liters of wheat. Is that it? Is that all we got? 8,000 liters of wheat plus the uh, the um, 18,000 liters of sugar beets. So that's what we have. Um, wheat and sugar beets. But we'll have... Um, I think, yeah, we'll have soybeans to harvest. We'll have canola to harvest. Yeah, so we're sitting okay for the, uh, for the, for the uh, requirements on that. There's no problem with that whatsoever. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can start um, mowing some grass too and make some make some silage bales and we can actually do that too to um for our own cows because we're going to need um you know for chaff and i'm trying to think now maybe we should almost put in a silage bunker at the farm how much are silage bunkers whoops wrong button um Yeah, 25, 45, because we don't have one at the farm, I don't believe. No, we don't have a silage bunker. So if we wanted to take some of that chaff from that corn and put it into ours for silage, um, we could certainly do that. The other the other possibility, too, is we could um, talk to a local farmer. Whoops, I'm on the wrong page again. Because um, 15 here, field number 15, is corn. Along with 17, which Natalie is fertilizing, is corn as well. So, when you think about it, I wonder what kind of 15 is still on the first growth stage. 
hasn't been fertilized or anything. Um, how much is it? 199,000. See, if we bought that chaff, the corn, turned around and sold it, um, we could use that corn for, um, for our own bunker. We could, we could do that. So we got all kinds of options, but uh, one step at a time here. Let's finish up these three contracts and um, see if Nat can finish up the fertilizing. We'll see how much money we have and then uh, possibly go start our, um, our harvest and uh, be underway. But we'll check back with you after a while here and we'll see, um, we'll see how the day has, has progressed. It has been one productive day. Here on the farm, uh, I was just stopped by the uh, the sheep, the Ba and Oink farm. Um, I had a gate put in here, kind of a nice gate. Um, you know, being that nobody is going to be living here, you know, just for security. Boy, those lights we're lit up like a freaking Christmas tree for crying out loud, man! But I think the yard looks uh, looks pretty darn nice, pretty darn nice. Maybe put in some shrubbery here around the edges. Maybe do that there. We could put some shrubs in there. Kind of nice we got some here, but yeah, the, the yard, boy, that, that's, we're all, we're all ready to go here. We are all ready to go. Um, 69,738 is what we are left with at the moment. Um, we were up to about 89, something like that. Natalie, she was, uh, she's crazy, man. She did, um, let's see, I want to go this way. She did, uh, seven contracts. Yes, she did. She did seven contracts. And then she said, hey, I want to go drive the combine. So she is finishing up the last of the harvesting uh, contract that we have. So we're sitting pretty good for a day of contract, either a day of building, a day of logging. But I did purchase one thing, and I maybe maybe it was just a little bit carried away there. But um, I did make a purchase down at Kramer's. Uh, I bought a container trailer, and I'm going to pick that up. It's sitting outside waiting for me, and I'm going to deliver that up to the, uh, the chicken farm. Uh, to store the uh, chicken eggs in. So we're going to do that real quick, and then we're going to call her at night. Uh, Natalie will have that last field finished up here uh, shortly, and uh, be all good to go. I will have to... Um, oh, yeah, well, I can do it in the morning, too. I will have to take that last load of uh, crop in from that contract, but I could do that in the morning as well. That is not too bad. And then we'll be sitting pretty good, pretty good there, but I would think overall um, a very productive day. So here's what we got. We have a little container trailer. Now, I could use this for all kinds of things, not just chicken eggs. You know, I could use this for, um, you know, I could store root crop. I could store grain. I could store anything in here. Um, pretty darn fancy, though. I kind of like it. I, I kind of like it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be nice. So, we are going to deliver this thing to the chicken farm. Now, I don't have a way of um, taking the container on and off, but um, so far, so good. Look at that. The door's even. Look at that, I can open and close the doors. Remote control. I mean, isn't that fancy? That is some good, good stuff here. But we'll drop this off, and like I say, we're going to call her a night. Um, I'm pretty happy. I, I got I to gotta admit, I am pretty darn happy with the way things have um, have turned out today. Uh, I am pretty happy with the Ba and Oink farm. I'm just going to call it. I'm going to call it the Ba and Oink farm. So now we have a chicken farm. We have the uh, Ba and Oink farm. And we have the uh, the horse tables. So we are um, all set to go. Now it's just going to be a matter of uh, making some money and buying some animals and getting things ready to go in that department. Tomorrow, we're going to start away with our harvesting. We have the uh, canola and the soybeans to harvest. I'm assuming that we will haul some of that down into the, uh, the Bond Link farm and store that in that uh, silo facility there. That we'll need that for the pigs. Now we could, we could. There's a place in town here, next to the dairy, that does sell um, pig food, for example. So I'm going to go around your car. You're getting passed by a tractor for crying out loud. Um, so I could. Oh, the glare. Okay, turn your brights down for crying out loud. Um, so I could just buy some, but I think that would be kind of expensive. So we are probably just better off just using our own. Hopefully down the road we can get a uh, pig food mixer. That would be absolutely outstanding. We could uh, just make our own pig food, which would make kind of make sense. But until then, we'll just have to keep working. Let's see. No, I want to keep going straight. Have to keep working hard, and um, eventually, eventually we will get uh, get some money rolling in here. Yeah, we'll get some animals on the farm. 
I'm kind of curious to see how much chicken eggs are. You know, I did sell a bunch of chicken eggs back in the day, and um, you can actually make money on chicken eggs, believe it or not. Yes, you can. You can actually make money on chicken eggs. We don't have, I haven't looked lately to see if we've had any reproduction uh, increases on the uh, chicken farm, but uh, horses, 5000 apiece. I got to save some money, too, because I want to get a bunch of horses to, to go. And then um, maybe have to hire another part-time guy, sadly enough. Or gal, part-time, to uh, help us out with the horses and the farming. Because, you know, we started off kind of tiny here. We have really um, really sprung up lately as of late. That, all that logging um, certainly uh, did come in handy. Let's see. Where are we going to park this puppy? Um, I want to open the doors again. Maybe I should just back it, back it in right here, I suppose. Actually, I could back it in on inside, couldn't I? I could. I could just back it. Well, then I have to carry the boxes inside. That kind of defeats the purpose of a container. Well, to transport them, to sell them. Um, yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to park it right here. Uh, I'm going to park it right alongside here. And then that'll be good. Could. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Thinking about it here. That would be the easiest to load my eggs. Pretty fancy trailer though, I gotta tell you. That is a fancy, fancy trailer. Um like I said, down the road maybe I could get something that I could um Oops. You know, it's kind of crazy. You can't turn the lights off with the tractor turned off. Um, get something down the road where I could um, uh, take the take the containers on and off, because then I could just get some more containers. You know what I mean? Let's see. I'm just going to set them in here. I will have to hop in here and then um, move them to the back. I will have to do that. Is part of the problem. You know what I should have done? Um, I suppose what I should have done. Maybe I'll ask Kramers about that. I think they make a hook lift um, where I can just uh, hook the container and then just set the container down. I should have thought about that one. Um, ooh, stay up there, box. Because I could certainly just do that instead, and then I could just you know, use like a little hook lift thing. But I can do that. Anyways, I'm going to finish up the boxes here in the chickens. I'm going to look over the chickens. i got to get some cleaning done, so I'll have to do that here before we, uh, before we call it a night. But anyways, we'll leave it there for today. Um... Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like. We would sincerely appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hey, do that as well. You got nothing to lose, man. Nothing to lose. All kinds of good stuff. Make sure you check out all my good friends. Um, their links are in the description of this video. That would be greatly appreciated. But until then, enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your Monday. Hope it goes well. Have a good one. And we will see you later. So long, everybody. Come on, box. Get up there. There you go.